Good afternoon everyone, how are you? Here's my thought for the week and uh, it revolves around Pentecost. Uh, tomorrow is uh, begins the Jewish celebration of Shavuot, uh, which is a harvest festival. Uh, the Hellenistic Greeks called it Pentecost and uh, for Jews it runs tomorrow, Thursday, until sundown on Saturday, um, the 30th. And the 30th will actually mark 50 days after the second days of second day of Passover. It was on the second day of Passover that Jesus was crucified. So it's both a Jewish uh, holiday and celebration and a uh, Christian celebration as well. Part of the Jewish celebration, and I think probably the primary one apart from the celebration uh, of the grain harvest, but the primary celebration really is a remembrance of the giving of the law to Moses and the Israelites at Mount Sinai. So for them it's about the law. For Christians it's about gospel and about grace, the good news of Jesus and the fulfilment of Torah, uh, the law and the prophets, all of that, fulfilment of that in Jesus. So we both share the day as a celebration. The, the roots of the celebration for both of us uh, are in Moses, but uh, for Christians the particular celebration is the celebration of the giving of the Holy Spirit, who in real terms is the lawgiver. Uh, it wasn't Moses, it was God who gave uh, the Ten Commandments and Torah to Moses, and he did that by his Spirit, uh, and the spirits, same spirit that spoke to Moses and gave the law is the same spirit that has spoken to the apostles and to all the authors of the New, new Covenant, the New Testament, the Christian Bible. And it's the same spirit that, that is waiting to speak to you and I today. Uh, in the Hebrew Bible, the Holy Spirit spoke to prophets and to kings uh, to judges, but not to everybody. Now the Spirit wants to talk with everybody. Our all-seeing, all-knowing, omnipotent, omnipresent God wants to talk with everybody. And so the giving of the Spirit is a celebration that God is with us always and that he's wanting to have a chat, wanting to listen to what we have to say. And, but most of all, what uh, wants us to listen to what he has to say to us. I was wondering today what life would be for me after uh, this COVID-19. Once it's all over, once we're back to being able to be with each other without social distancing, when we can gather for worship, what's life going to be like for me? Will I be the same person afterwards that I was beforehand? I hope not. I hope I've grown. I've learned some things, not just some skills uh, in putting videos together and other things, but I actually hope I've grown as a person. Uh, I hope that I've grown not only deeper into the presence of God, but deeper into his will. I hope my will is more conformed to what he wants of me uh, than it was beforehand. Uh, I'm part of a very middle class group of people. Most churches in Australia are very middle class. And we can get all tied up in church and the things that happen in church and church stuff and church things. But do we get upset when people are harmed, when they're hurt? Today I've been thinking about all those who are held in detention centres uh, offshore in Australia who've, who've legally tried to enter our company, country. And it has been legal. Uh, international law says it was legal. But our government has shut them away. And I'm sure there's good reason. I'm sure government has good reason for the protection of our borders to do that. But the cruel and inhuman way in which they've been kept is not a, a good thing for the conscience of Australia. And Christians everywhere ought to be praising our government for protecting our borders, but also critiquing them and, and offering them encouragement and support to be creative in the way they care for these visitors to our shores. And we need to be more proactive in helping them either stay or leave, but not keeping them in limbo. I hope I'm more involved and engaged in the love of God that acts for justice for the oppressed after this. What things are affecting you? What are you thinking about? 
How is God touching your heart? Oh, that's my thoughts for the day. See you on Sunday. For more thoughts of the day, Bible teachings or other resources, please go to the Church Online tab at livingfaith.org.au.